Oh, it's one of my two comic book reviews out there. Mike from Comic Prime here. Welcome to my comic review of a comic book from the all new, all different Marvel. And uh, just want to wish all of you out there today a happy Halloween. Because this comic book that I'm going to be reviewing is related to Halloween. And that is The Punisher, issue number one, annual. And as always in Punisher, even here, it says parental advisory. Not for kids. So this is an uh, adult comic book. So just wanted to uh, point that out there before I get into the comic books. And I won't show any uh, blood and artwork. Um, I'll just show uh, the stuff that uh, doesn't have that. So it starts off where the Punisher... Uh, does what he does, which is punish things, like this is good artwork right here. A little bit sketchy, like not too bad of uh, artwork. And uh, he's just uh, telling uh, this person who had a shirt on to take that off because the symbol of Punisher um, shouldn't be worn by him because it means something to Frank Castle. So the person who's actually... Uh, Spying on the Punisher is this guy named Mam Mamdoich, if I said his name right. And uh, he's just trying to do an investigation about what he needs to find out. So this person he talks to, he says that uh, he wants to know something about uh, where this guy uh, Nikki is. And he said to check the Art Institute. Nikki's cousin Kevin and his crew is going to hit that place. So you should go there before it's uh, too late. So as he's holding up the place, uh, the Punisher meets up with Kevin. And he just shoots everybody else and leaves Kevin the only one standing. And then takes him to his van to answer questions of where they could find his cousin Nikki. And as Mando H follows the Punisher in his van, we get a little bit of a uh, flashback in black and white about how Mando H, his father, does uh, his job. And, like, Mando H wasn't really all about killing people. And his father was, like, saying, you know, we have to do what we have to do. And everything else that there is to it and he was going to go check out carbon works as he's gonna find out about Jem Ryan's and then Mom Deutsch is like saying you know how people are looking at him and how uh, everything is just you know the way it is that it shouldn't be and there's a lot more that's explained uh, in this comic book so the Punisher gets to uh, Nikki's house where he has everybody hostage. Where um, lots of things are going to be uh, going down. And the Punisher and Mam Doyich got there at the exact same time. But then we get another flashback where Mam Doyich's father gets shot because um, he uh, was the person to actually let the Punisher go. But also, he was shot by Nikki Lowenstein, who is the guy that uh, Mamdoyich was trying to go after. So outside of the house, Mamdoyich does find him, and as he's about to shoot him, the Punisher actually uh, has a talk with him saying, is this what your father wanted you to do? Like, uh, just to kill an un armed man, and, um, like, I was, like, saying, like, but the Punisher does that also. Just, like, kill people because of his family that got murdered. And, uh, he was, like, saying, you know, to Mandoich, because of your father, he could have killed me, but he didn't. And he owes him. And his options was to kill him or let him go, and it was to let him go. So he's like saying, you got to believe in your father. And with that, Frank Castle shoots him and just says that, uh, 
you know, um, your father was a good man, so are you, but I'm not, because they're different people, and then, uh, that was the end of the comic book, where, uh, the police actually, uh, saw Mam Doyich, showing that the Punisher believes in punishment. And also, in November next month, there is a preview cover of the Punisher issue number 7, where I will definitely continue the reviews of that. But this is just uh, an annual, just to, uh, you know, to give it a Halloween theme, but uh, this was a really good comic book. Rating I would give for this is, I would say between a 4 to 4.5 out of 5. A great story, and pretty good artwork. I do like how they focused on a different character, Mam Doyich, and how he met the Punisher in a comic book. But uh, definitely some for a Halloween theme. And if you're a Punisher fan, such as myself, as you can tell by the shirt. And uh, you can pick this up if you want to. And if not, then you won't. Up to you guys. So, uh, just wanted to make mention that. So with that, everybody, that was my comic review of The Punisher, issue number one annual. And also want to wish all of you out there a happy Halloween. Before I go, don't forget to check out the social